everyone. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Acacia Courtney. It's a big day of racing, as Saturdays always are during the championship meet. We have 12 races coming up, including the Grade 3 Royal Delta. A little bit of rain yesterday, so that will take the first race off the turf, but the rest will be on the grass as scheduled. So let's send it up to track announcer Pete Aiello for more on this Saturday at Gulfstream. Goldstream from the far outside, Ginger on my mind begins nicely, driving through at the rail, Winnipeg Wonder, and from between that duo, Chard Renee. Then it's a length and a half to Princess Merida, together with Anonymous Source, and Big Cheeks is last. Down the back stretch they go, Chard Renee on the outside, Winnipeg Wonder toward the rail, their heads apart. After a good getaway, Ginger on my mind settles in third from Anonymous Source, who's at the rail fourth. Three wide while fifth is Princess Merida, and the trailer is Big Cheeks. That's the six of them separated by three and a half lengths in the run to the half mile point. Chard Renee now puts a neck in front. Here's Princess Merida moving up quickly now on the outside. She's up into second. Winnipeg Wonder backpedaling from last. Big Cheeks is underway, soon to take third. Back to fourth, Ginger on my mind. Then Anonymous Source. And after making the front early, Winnipeg Wonder is last of all as they run to the 5 16 Toward the inside, Chard Renee to the outside. Long shot, Princess Merida right up alongside. Big Cheeks ready to go three wide, and she's on the attack now. These three are in lockstep with a quarter of a mile left to go on the far out. Outside. Here comes Big Cheeks with a sustained run to take the lead. Chard Renee cuts the corner and tries to go after her second. From the outside, that's Princess Merida. Her bid was short-lived, but inside the final furlong, Big Cheeks kicking away with authority. Big Cheeks by five. Chard Renee clearly second behind Big Cheeks and Junior Alvarado, an authoritative first race winner. Second is Chard Renee. Third is Ginger on my mind. Anonymous Source is fourth. Then Princess Merida, 25 and three. Far outside, just smoking gets the first call and fires to the top from Caffeine Rush and moves up at the rail to take second. Island Vibe away in third. Alta Velocita is racing from fourth. Four wide is Momi, Momai. The two at the back are the two favorites, Gilded Lady and Divine Martha. They speed to the half mile grounds with just smoking on top of length and a quarter. Angling off the flank of the leader is Caffeine Rush and starting to creep closer second. Three wide island vibe is now third. Gilded Lady runs into fourth. Alta Velocita needs to pick it up while fifth. Three better than Divine Martha. The trailer is Mo Me, Mo My, and the leader is Caffeine Rush. Caffeine Rush took all the late money and has the lead. Alta Velocita and Paca Lopez getting started on the far outside. They're up into a joint second. Gilded Lady needs some place to go. Just Smokin's called it an afternoon with a quarter of a mile left to go. Alta Velocita bidding after the leader, Caffeine Rush. Back to third and Island Vibe. Into the center comes Gilded Lady with her run. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Gilded Lady tries to track down the embattled duo up front. Here she comes now. Gilded Lady over the top. Gilded Lady now strikes to the front. Caffeine rushes right back at her. Alta Velocita is third. Gilded Lady will win it. Gilded Lady going away in the end from Caffeine Rush second. Alta Velocita third. Then Island Vibe and just smoking on 13 and 2.
And they're off. Benefit Street and Our Love on the Run were quick into stride. Our Love on the Run blasting to the top. Moving up toward her inside is what a trick to try to hold the rail spot. They shuffle back the favorite. Don't push your luck. She's back racing in fourth now as Ladies' Choice gets started up into third. Bree Hazel is next. Then to the outside goes the gray easy on the sugar. Second last is Blue Kentucky Girl and Benefit Street is last. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. Our Love on the Run by a neck. What a trick. Draws up alongside second. Ladies' Choice is now third. Bree Hazel tacking on fourth. This big favorite, Don't Push Your Luck, has got a tall task ahead of her. She hasn't made any ground yet, and she's better than six lengths off the lead with a quarter of a mile left to go. Our Love on the Run on the inside. What a trick to the outside. Three wide. Ladies' Choice. Then Don't Push Your Luck and Bree Hazel. There's an eighth of a mile to go. What a trick. Now takes the lead. Don't Push Your Luck. Starts to put her mind to business now. She's knifing through horses and ducks to the rail. Don't push your luck is now ahead in front. What a trick right back at her. Don't push your luck in front. Don't push your luck found another gear when she needed one and she got up to win it in 57 and two. And they're off. Excellent beginning for the favorite, Briella, who's put into play early on. Borma has speed. Out wide on the course in Hera. Out three deep goes to a tee. The gray Miss V-Time is at the rail second last, and Polish Gem is between horses. Not far away, no more than three lengths from first to last as they chase the odds-on favorite, Briella. Briella under restraint here, leads by half a length over Borma, who races from second. The others are stacked and packed behind him, and in tight is Polish Gem down at the rail, Miss V-Time, out wide in Hera, and to a tee, the second choice has been shuffled to last. The opening quarter was quite cozy for the leader, 23 and two. Less than three furlongs to go, Briella getting everything her own way. She leads by two and a half. Borma second from the outside to a tee, now trying to launch her bid while a bit wide on the course. Hera and Miss V-Time are next, and Paulus Gem is at the back, and there's less than a quarter of a mile to come. Miguel Vasquez has done a masterful job of nursing the speed of Briella, and she's still the target toward the rail. Miss V-Time down the center to a tee from between Borma. Eighth of a mile to go. Briella is still fresh, still strong, and still well clear. Odds on the price, Briella the winner. Briella for Mike Yates in the Shady Brook Farm, a gate-to-wire winner. They'll win by as much as they want. We'll call it four and a half. Second was two a T. Third was Piss V time. And fourth was Borma in 112 and two. They're off. Race favorite combination, quick into stride toward the inside northern, put into play early. Up on the outside, Starship Apollo's in early third. Karen's Cove, Young Raymond, and put the glass down are next. Wide on the course in Black Pepper. Then Dr. Harlan, the early trailer, is Moon Pistol. Field separated by five lengths in the run to the half mile point. With the rail advantage and the lead, it's Northern. A half length in front of combination in second. Put the glass down as a joint third alongside Karen's Cove. Three wide starship Apollo, then Dr. Harlan. Young Raymond's in the blue colors, about six lengths off the lead. Two back to Moon Pistol and long shot Black Pepper is now last of all as they have less than three furlongs to race. With the advantage, it's Northern. He's at the 5 16th with a neck advantage over the classy combination who bids up to him. These two put on some speed. Two and a half better than put the glass down. That floats out Starship Apollo and gives Dr. Harlan room to punch through with a quarter of a mile left to go. On the inside, Northern fighting off combination who couldn't get on terms. Down at the rail, it's Dr. Harlan down the center and put the glass down. Final 16th of a mile and Northern, he's up to the task here under jockey Corey Lannery for the red-hot barn of Peter Walder. Northern is in front. Second is combination close for third. Either put the glass down or Dr. Harlan. Young Raymond finished fifth in 111 flat.
from between horses, Luddington gets the first call on his outside September 10. Moving out the rail, Girolamo's attacks in no hurry. Getting started out wide is South Sea, then Silverly Enough and Cove Blue. They're three by three, separated by two in the run to the half mile point. Luddington with rail position and a narrow advantage over September 10. Three wide in South Sea, out the rail goes Girolamo's attack. Cove Blue is on heels between horses, three wide at the back, silverly enough, as they round the far turn. The opening quarter was cozy, 23 and one, less than three furlongs to go. Corey Lannery lets out a notch on Luddington, who has the lead by half a length. South Sea on the outside is now second, back to third, September 10. Winding up well, fourth is uh, Silver enough. Two back to Cove Blue. The trailer is Girolamo's attack. So the favorites are last and second last and Luddington is first off the turn. 46 and two for the opening half mile. Luddington still clear with Silver Lee enough now. Second South Sea is back to third. Then Cove Blue in September 10. Final eighth of a mile. Silver Lee enough trying to get Luddington late. Luddington is still clear. Silver Lee enough gaining but he's running out of time. It's still Luddington in front. Luddington wins. Walter again. Second was Silverly enough. Up third, Girolamo's attack in one ten and two. the center girl dad gets the first call yes this time runs with him and these two race on from honorable who comes away in third while trying to angle over length and a half to zippy baby who's down toward the inside with richie's got game in between horses and chow second last says on the early trailer is mr leonardo as they chase the speed of yes this time Yes, this time leads by a length and a half. Girl Dad is second. Honorable's at the rail third. Three wide. Richie's got game is fourth. Fifth at the fence for Zippy Baby. Then Chow and Mr. Leonardo. And Cezanne is now last. The opening quarter was complete in 24 seconds flat. Paco Lopez. And yes, this time on top by a length and a quarter. Honorable is at the inside with Girl Dad in the two path. Followed by Richie's got game and Zippy Baby. On hold mid-flight is Chow ahead of Mr. Leonardo and Cezanne three wide at the back of the field. The entire field separated by five lengths and the run half a mile from the finish. Yes, this time went 50 and one for the opening half mile and leads a length and a quarter. Girl Dad still second. Richie's got game three wide on the outside. Starting to make a move. That'll force the hand of Jockey Luis Saez on Girl Dad. At the inside an honorable then Chow. Zippy Baby races in the two path between horses. Cezanne is asked to quicken. Mr. Leonardo is last, but the top horses are all converging on the leader and now the leader is girl dad girl dad to put a neck in front yes this time tries to fight back second chow four wide three wide richie's got game honorable and zippy baby need a way through top of the lane from the outside girl dad toward the rail yes this time honorable still hunting racing room with richie's got game but yes this time has a kick and yes this time has turned away all challenges so far richie's got game taking another shot honorable's at the rail but it's paco lopez and yes this time all the way Richie's got game second, honorable third, then Mr. Leonardo and Zippy Baby in 144, flat.
Musk missed the start, two lengths. Big favorite, Ghazali, was away quickly from the rail draw, moving up on his outside. Quantum Leap has speed. Mid laner trying to angle over from the outside post position. But in the blue colors, it's Luis Saez and Ghazali who have the lead. Up on the outside, Quantum Leap is there. Second outside of him goes Swingman. Saving ground toward the inside is Taita, racing into about three lengths off the pace setter. Mid laner is next, followed between horses by King Cairo. And it's a gap of two. The two at the back are Musk and Prayer Book. Opening quarter was 23 and 4. That's not flying. It's not crawling either as Ghazali leads at odds on. King Cairo moving between horses to take on the favorite three wide in Quantum Leap. Then mid laner from between horses Swingman. Taita is at the rail. The two at the back are Musk and Prayer Book, and they have five furlongs left to race. Ghazali on the inside maintains a narrow lead with King Cairo continuing to apply pace pressure while second. Three wide Quantum Leap is now third. Taita's had a good run of it, fourth in the yellow. Followed by Swingman, a gap of four mid laners drop back sharply now, passed by Musk and Prayer Book as they swing to the far turn. The opening half mile was 48 and one as they have three furlongs left to race. Ghazali maintains the lead, but he's been under siege throughout. King Cairo and Quantum Leap, the nearest pursuers. Swingman now fourth and starting to gain a bit of ground. Taita gets shuffled back a touch. The back marker's doing no running of any kind, so the action's up front. Quarter of a mile left to get Quantum Leap up on the outside of Ghazali for the lead. Over the top and Swingman splitting horses. Taita, these are the four that have kicked on, but Ghazali is tenacious and maintains the advantage. Quantum Leap couldn't get by. Taita tries at the rail. Quantum Leap's going to try again. This time he means business. Quantum Leap on the outside of Ghazali. Ghazali and Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap has the lead now and Quantum Leap would not be denied. Ghazali was second. Taita was third. Fourth was Swingman. Then King Cairo 151 and 2. center Mr. Axel wins the start Burley boy being ridden hard for forward position and here comes Auburn Hills on the go Auburn Hills to put a neck in front Mr. Axel is trying to hold inside ground with Super Energizer up on the outside third. Burley Boy is together with Trouble Coffee. They're a length and a half in front of Emoji Guy. He comes away mid-flight, and he's about six lengths off the lead. Alistair is next, racing ahead of Zip Along, then Mitch Ryan. Length and a half to Policy Option. Down at the rail, the North remembers, and the trailer is Maverick Kitten. Opening quarter, quick and contested. 23 seconds flat. Auburn Hills leads into the backstretch. He leads by half a length. Super Energizer keeps the heat on. Second after the good getaway, Mr. Axel backed off to race third. Trouble Coffee is an early fourth, two and a half better than Burley Boy alongside Emoji Guy. They're about six lengths off the in-battle duo as they head to the half-mile point. That's a big gap, four or five lengths to zip along ahead of Policy Option and Alistair. Mitch Ryan is next with the North Remembers, and not keeping up is Maverick Kitten. He's 12th and last with three and a half furlongs left to race. The opening half mile was 46 and one. The pace has been robust up on the outside. Here's Super Energizer taking on Auburn Hills once again. Mr. Axel is three wide, trying to rally four wide trouble coffee. Emoji Guy and Burley Boy are next, then zip along in policy option. Nobody really kicking home from the back with a quarter of a mile left to go. They've swallowed up the early leader, and now it's Mr. Axel to take the lead. Looking for room as Burley Boy. Emoji Guy would like some racetrack down the center and zip along. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Burley Boy, he got through at the fence and he's up to take the lead down the center trouble coffee back to third super energizer close to home with burly boy and Luis Saez driven out burly boy is in front trouble coffee second emoji guy third fourth with super energizer close after that in 142 flat And 
start for the gray, Super Watson, who's headed off for the early advantage. Coffee Bean's going to take him on, and Coffee Bean's going to take the lead. Wide on the course, Dreams of Tomorrow into the top flight, and he's moving over from the high draw. Mid-flight for Ronnie, the limo driver. Outside in Tull Ferris, saving ground is Briefcase Bully. The two at the back are Lake Nakaru and Chocolate Bar. And the run around the first turn, Coffee Bean and Hector Berrios clear by a length and a quarter. Dreams of Tomorrow is their second. Super Watson is out the rail third. Tull Ferris in the blue colors moving up wide on the course under Leperu. Ronnie the limo driver is between horses. Then back to Briefcase Bully racing together with Lake Nakaru. And the trailer is Chocolate Bar. 24 and 2 for the opening quarter. Less than 5 furlongs to race. Coffee Bean has the lead three parts of length. Dreams of Tomorrow on the outside is second. Up to third, Tull Ferris back to fourth, Super Watson. On from fifth, Ronnie the limo driver, then it's Briefcase Bully. A length and a half to Lake Nakaru, and the trailer still is Chocolate Bar as the field moves into the far turn. 48-3 and three for the opening half mile, three furlongs left to race. Coffee Bean has the lead, Dreams of Tomorrow turning up the heat. He's now within the next second, Till Ferris at 22-1, to one, looms a threat from third. Back to fourth in Super Watson, then Ronnie the limo driver and Briefcase Bully as they run to the top of the stretch. Three wide, here's Till Ferris putting his hat into the ring with between horses, Dreams of Tomorrow, and along the rail, Coffee Bean. These three have kicked on with an eighth of a mile to go. Coffee Bean, he still has the lead. In between horses, Dreams of Tomorrow, Till Ferris takes aim. Chocolate Bar is on late. Chocolate Bar rallies well late. Does he have enough time? Here's Chocolate Bar. He's in time. Big late kick under Tyler Gaffleone, and Chocolate Bar went last to first to win in 136 and one. the Royal Delta Stakes. Clean and level beginning. From the inside, gibberish intent on getting to the front. From Eris, too, who moves up to take second. Bajan Girls on her outside. And here's the favorite, Mrs. Danvers, on the go early. She's all the way up to contest the early lead. So Bajan Girl will settle in third. From Eris, too, who's away in early fourth. High Regard is at the rail together with Dream Marie. Hiawala's three wide. And Queen Nakia, last of all, as they round the first turn. Up on the outside, Mrs. Danvers and Jose Ortiz intent on getting to the top. They have a narrow advantage, but Gibberish won't let her get far. And these two hook up and open two and a half on Bajan Girl, who's a tripped out third. Two and a half more to Eris 2, who's now fourth at the rail in high regard. Three wide out there in Dream Marie. From between Hiawala and at the inside, it's Queen Nakia. The opening quarter was contested 23 and 1. Pace is pretty quick here. On the outside, it's Mrs. Danvers toward the rail. It's Gibberish. They're locked in battle two and a half better than Bajan Girl, who bides her time third. The second choice in the betting, Eris 2, has had some pace ahead of her, and she starts to tighten in while fourth. High Regard is next, then Hiawala and Queen Nakia. Dream Marie is last, and Eris 2 is on a move. Here's Eris 2. She's fourth, but closing ground at the in-battle duo. Eris 2 up within half a length of the lead at the 5 sixteenths, and Eris 2 has now made the front. Mrs. Danvers is back to third. Gibberish is next. Queen Nakia are next. Mrs. Danvers softened up and uh, defeated today with less 
less than a quarter of a mile to go. Queen Nakia trying to slide through inside of Eris 2. Eris 2 made first run, but Queen Nakia, she's up for an upset possibility here. Final 16th of a mile, Queen Nakia's made the front. A rail skimming ride from Corey Lattery. The Royal Delta ends in an upset. Queen Nakia wins at a big price. Eris 2 second, Beijing Girl third, then Gibberish and Mrs. Danvers in 143 and three. Away. Ninja Dust well served at the start. Guaco moving up on the outside, and Kunal is up from between horses. Also into the top flight goes Spinning Kitten in the red and white. Spinning Kitten is going to land second here behind Kunal, who clears off. Kunal leads by a length and a quarter from Spinning Kitten, who races from second. Guaco's on his outside. Ninja Dust is at the rail. Far outside, strong ending is four wide. Three wide goes Handsome Prince, and sandwiched between them, Juan Pablo. A length and a half to all good. He's tugging while settled down about seven lengths behind. On his outside, both Atacan and Power. The two at the back are wise to listen and Mason Song. 22 and 4 for an aggressive opening quarter. Angel Royal and Kunal lead three parts of a length. Guaco on the outside, second. Strong ending, three wide while third. At the rail, spinning kitten is fourth. Juan Pablo on from fifth. Handsome Prince is sixth. Seventh at the rail is Ninja Dust. All good is eighth. Ninth and on the improve is Mason Song. Dropping back to tenth now. That's uh, power. Strong ending is 11th toward the rail. Rather, that's wise to listen. 11th toward the rail. And Atacan, 12th and last through a 48 and 1 opening half mile. Around the far turn they race. Kunal leads narrowly. Guaco turning up the heat. He's within a neck now. Second spinning kitten at the rail takes third. Back to fourth and strong ending. Then Mason Song and Juan Pablo. Ninja Dust trying to follow spinning kitten and get into the clear for a stretch bid. Racing up on the inside of them and all good. He needs a way out bad. Top of the lane. They haven't got Kunal yet. Three quarters. One twelve and three. Juan on the outside. Guaco taking his shot. Spinning kitten into the clear. Juan Pablo and Ninja Dust all good down the center. Final eighth of a mile. All good. Closing ground with Juan Pablo. Spinning Kitten is in front. Spinning Kitten close to home. All good takes aim. All good is in time. What a score in the Rainbow Six. That must have been as All Good ran down Spinning Kitten in 142 flat. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us for another great afternoon of racing at Gulfstream Park. We'll see you back here tomorrow as we wrap up the week of racing. 11 races on tap and our first post is 1240 p.m. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. I've been working all day. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. What do you say? Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Hit the hay. Well, I'm tired. Let me tell you, Jack, I'm so tired.